Welcome in on a Wednesday. I'm Juliet Goodrich. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky speaks to the world more than two years since Russia invaded his country. Will he get more help for the front lines? And just days left to avoid a government shutdown is a vote today pushing the funding fight to another time. We're live with all the answers on Capitol Hill. This is CBS News 24-7. Let's go. Right off the top, we have breaking news out of Detroit. We've learned a police officer was shot this morning on the city's west side. So you're looking at the hospital where he is right now. Here's what we know. Police were called about one of the conditions and where Helena's now. We saw, boy, from Cancun, that's scary. It is devastating Cancun as we speak. If you were to have visual just of what it looks like there, heavy winds, heavy rain, that's what they're dealing with right now from Tulum up into Cancun. And of course, you can see it's impacting Cuba as well. And it's just south of the Keys. Within the coming days, this is going to impact many communities, anywhere from Tampa stretching up into Panama City Beach, Destin, moving its way up into Alabama and Georgia, as now they're also dealing with a lot of the flood advisories currently in those communities. Now, I want to start off with where it's at right now. It's moving northwest around 10 miles per hour, and this strong storm is continuing to strengthen. Here's the reason why. It's about to hit really warm sea surface temperatures all the way up in the Gulf of Mexico. Record-breaking sea surface temperatures as we head into of the coming days and that's really going to allow for rapid intensification, which is the study of those hurricanes really strengthening before they make their way into landfall areas. This is just into Thursday in the morning hours just offshore, but those outside bands are already impacting and allowing for storm surge into communities like Tampa at that point. We head all the way into Thursday now, Thursday evening. That's when it's expected to hit landfall just south of Tallahassee around a category three. That's what we're anticipating right now. And here's those outer bands that are going to continue to impact the keys as we head into the coming days, stretching up all along that shoreline where storm surge can get anywhere up to around 12 feet in all of those local cities. Panama City Beach is going to get hit with heavy rain and this storm continues to track north. Heavy rainfall expected anywhere from Tallahassee stretched over into Jacksonville, but watch the storm continue to move north. Atlanta is anticipated to get around eight inches as we head into the coming days and I'll have more on that in a bit. But for now, over to you, Julia. All right, Jess, thanks so much. And CBS News has you covered on Helene's track on air and online. And you can head to CBSNews.com slash Helene for all of the most up to date information. All right, coming up on CBS News 24 7, our video feeds are going to take us to more on the Eye on America with Jim Axelrod talking about gold scams. We'll have that story more coming up on CBS News 24 7.